so the XUV 700 is all set to be launched and we are in conversation with Rajesh Jejurekar who is executive director uh, the automotive division and farm equipment of Mahindra and Mahindra. Uh, Rajesh, thanks so much for being in conversation with us today and an exciting moment because uh, a brand new launch and you've got a lot riding on this product, especially after the success of the Thar. Uh, there's a lot of expectations from the XUV 700. So what are going to be its USPs and uh, you know what can the people expect? Uh, firstly, Renuka, thanks for coming here to Chennai um, on this wonderful campus that we have, the Mahindra Research Valley and what we've just inaugurated, the Mahindra uh, SUV Proving Grounds, mm. as we call it, or Testing Grounds. So it's, uh, it's actually a wonderful place to experience a new launch because you can try out the vehicle in multiple usage situations. So firstly, thanks for being here. We are very, very excited about the 700 launch and you've taken a look at it. It is... Uh, you know, it's such a sweet combination of a very strong fundamental vehicle architecture, which means as you can make out in both diesel and gasoline, it's noise free, uh, really, really beautiful to drive, uh, very strong powertrains, which have been our core strength for a while. So it is based on, uh, so there is this whole uh, strength of Mahindra, which is the excellent uh, drive dynamics. But what we've really, really transformed it this product, the XUV 700, are the interiors and the technology and uh, in a way the feature packed offering. So I think that's really what is going to create a completely new level of connection and bring in what we believe will be a completely new uh, segment of users and probably the more uh, modern, younger segment as well mm -hmm. uh, for whom we think this is going to be a wow, amazing offering. Yeah, because the first XUV 500 when it was launched created quite a buzz and I think that was because it was completely different from, uh, you know, design wise from anything that people had seen. So you would say that this is going to take, uh, you know, connectivity and and uh, uh, features a step forward for Mahindra as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the features uh, are really class leading and uh, going to redefine the segment, really truly create history again with uh, a launch of this kind. You rightly said Thar has been a great success, expectations are high and you know the whole build up into the launch over the last 5-6 uh, weeks as we've released uh, the short feature videos has created an amazing amount of buzz. Uh, in a way the new logo that we now have mm. on the XUV 700 uh, on the grill and every other part of the vehicle on the steering uh, horn pad mm. uh, represents that new Mahindra. It represents the spirit of Explore the Impossible. It has, you know, the inner M which uh, captures the heritage M and the outer M which captures the, you know, the explosion into the future. Yeah. So we think, uh, you know, the this is a brand transformation exercise as much as it's a new product launch. Yeah, well, you answered my next question because I was going to ask you about the logo and this whole yeah. ab absolutely scripting a new story for Mahindra. But part of that question is also that you, you're using this new logo only for SUVs, yeah. right? And so, are we now making that assumption that Mahindra's sharp focus, you've said this before, is yeah. going to be SUVs, but what happens to the MUVs and the crossovers that you have like the KUV and the Marazzo, will they continue, will you still explore those options or is Mahindra going to be a hardcore SUV brand? Well, the uh, portfolio products that we have will continue, uh, which is the Marazzo, the KUV 1002 examples that you mm. took uh, and they will carry the new logo. Uh, but over time, over the next uh, 12 to 15 months, we have a transition plan into the new logo, uh, product by product. Uh, the road ahead logo, which is the current logo that we have, uh, will stay on our farm equipment products, will also stay on our commercial vehicles on the auto side. Mm. And that's the differentiation we want to bring in where we think any product which captures the spirit of Explore the Impossible uh, will start carrying the new logo. Now this this replaces the XUV 500, but you're calling it the XUV 700. So, you know why the gap? Why the space? Why not just carry the 500 brand forward? Uh, what's the intent behind you know changing this um, and taking it one step forward? You know quite clearly this is a product which is a revolution compared to anything that we've had in the past, mm. and. Uh, our view was it deserves a new badge. 
it deserves a branding which is elevated and XUV700 does that very well while still staying within mm -hmm. the lineage of XUV. Uh, it creates a new expectation and we are sure we're going to over deliver on this expectation. Mm -hmm. We believe that if we had stayed with just uh, the XUV500, we would not have been able to create uh, a proposition which would be revolutionary from a customer point of view. They would have seen the offering as more evolution over 500 and this has got no connection with that. Everything is different, is new, there is almost no carryover from the past. The platform Correct. is new, uh, the powertrains are new, new, everything yeah. is new. So we just felt it needs a completely new uh, branding. Okay, that also leaves space for positioning a little bit below and maybe uh, does, something uh, else. Yeah, for certainly we will use the brand in the future. I mean, yeah. 500 is a very strong brand and we would get an appropriate product over time uh, mm -hmm. to take that slot. Um, also, you know, the Thar while being niche segment, it sort of had its own space to make a splash. Uh, the XUV comes into a very competitive uh, place. Uh, there's already lots of products, lots of feature packed products over there. So, um, you know, what kind of volumes are you looking at? Um, what kind of, uh, you know, how are you planning to script that success? Uh, that's, you know, what you've been wanting from it. Uh, we normally Renuka, don't talk about volume, so I'm not going to hazard that guess at the moment. Uh, we are, we have, a, we have ambitious volume plans. Let me say that uh, we believe that we have a very strong value proposition, which is captured by segmenting the offering into two series. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have the M series and we have the AX series. Mm -hmm. uh, the AX series is where you start getting all the Adrenox excitement Correct. and the Adrenox intelligence. The M series uh, is still, we believe, uh, cutting edge for that segment mm -hmm. and uh, will allow us hence to leverage a much wider audience by playing a two series strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how we're thinking about the volume aspiration. Uh, by having an M series and an AX series, which allows us to straddle multiple price points and value propositions. Okay, so there's going to be a wide variety of variants and, and options. That's right. You know, this powertrains and gearbox is already giving you a wide variety, but there's going to be a, a much wider variety of this, and we're going to see all wheel drive as well. That's uh, right. For, okay. You know, the petrol engines were really good on the Thar, and, and you know, we're, we're going to see them on the XUV as well now. Uh, you've largely been seen as a diesel manufacturer before this. Uh, how has the transition to petrol been? Are you seeing the volumes and are you seeing the customer move towards petrol? And is that going to be the future for Mahindra? Uh, so clearly uh, the new gasoline engine has been an amazing success story, we believe. Uh, the XUV300 now does very significant volumes. We last month did uh, over 6,000 and we are still short. And almost 50% of that now is gasoline. Mm -hmm. So clearly gasoline is, uh, you know, has established us, enabled us to get growth. In Thar as well, we're seeing very, very good response on gasoline. Uh, you know, like I said, new segments. So the Thar has attracted many new segment uh, consumers mm -hmm. because we had a very strong gasoline offering. Uh, it brought in mainstream. And we think that will happen on XUV700 as well. Uh, a very strong gasoline proposition. The gasoline on this is... Uh, 200 horsepower, it is absolutely exhilarating to drive. Uh, so it is going to be a very important part of the script. Okay. Um, so will the XUV700 now be the flagship vehicle for Mahindra in its SUV portfolio for some time to come? That is correct. That is correct. We think this is the defining benchmarks and uh, appropriately should be the flagship as we go forward. Yeah. You've, you've kind of re-scripted a lot of things. We've been talking about it, a new logo, a brand new car, brand new designer. So it's, it's a big change at Mahindra. Uh, what's the future? What's your vision for that future? Uh, well, clearly we, uh, we believe that focus will get us growth. You know, uh, you know um, as uh, contradictory, uh, contradictory that, as that may sound, mm -hmm. uh, we believe a focused strategy positions us well and will allow us to leverage volumes. Uh, the Thar is a great example of that. Uh, everyone thought Thar will be a niche brand, but it's opened up completely new segments and is very strong on volumes. So as we think about the future, we're going to think around how design, uh, 
along with technology will be strong differentiators for Mahindra. So the whole spirit of exploring the impossible, creating authentic SUVs with adventure capabilities is really what we're saying we want to want to be our purpose, mm -hmm. our brand purpose, and we're going to create vehicles which deliver that. And you have, like you said, a niche with, with Thar, and you have, uh, um, you know, you've created sort of white gaps that you filled. So is that also a plan for the future that are you looking for those white gaps and products that are maybe set them apart from what is already a very crowded because the SUV space which you're focusing on is already very crowded. It's very competitive. So you'll have to look for, you know, products and there are gaps in your segment. So is that also going to be an area you're looking at? Yeah, clearly we want to create new categories and uh, while we are in the product defined space of SUVs, believe there's great opportunity to differentiate and uh, if we you know once we've decided that we're going to be core for who we are mm. uh, that will drive differentiation uh, because many other brands who are coming in are coming in with a wider product portfolio mm. and that always dilutes who you are mm. and the more strongly we focus on who we truly are going back to our heritage uh, but modernizing the offerings and making them relevant to today's and tomorrow's consumers, uh, we think that's uh, really the differentiation strategy. Okay, my last question to you now. Um, the EV space, it's hotting up in the Indian market and Mahindra had Reva, Mahindra's had their uh, Formula uh, E racing team, but they haven't moved into the EV space. Why has there been a delay uh, and will we see EVs soon from Mahindra? Yeah, well, you know, when you say the EV space is hotting up, it doesn't reflect in numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So, and we don't think uh, EVs in the personal space, mm -hmm. like which we are playing in, we just spoke about the whole SUV strategy. Yeah. We think that's going to take two, three years. Okay. Uh, we will be ready with a very, very strong uh, EV, SUV portfolio by then. Some of them will be IC derived, some of them will be born electric. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we are preparing for the future. Uh, Yes, we don't have an appropriate SUV EV offering at the moment. The first one that will come from our stable will be the XUV 300 mm -hmm. sometime in early 2023. But after that, we're going to have a slew of uh, electric SUVs and it's going to be a very exciting space to watch as we really, really explore uh, the potential of design in uh, launching newer EVs. Great. Thank you. It's looking like an exciting future and all the best for the XUV 700. Uh, we are also looking forward to driving it soon. Thanks and enjoy the drive. I am sure you are going to love it. All the best.